Sustainable food and energy production are humanity's biggest challenges. And the only solution is to put all resources back to circulation. Here's how we do it. Our energy is carbon free. Our gigafactories are equipped with maximum rooftop solar panels. Rest of the needed energy is sourced green from the grid. The possible excess solar energy is stored until needed. But where does the energy go from our factories? Our fish products are one form of energy. Single packed fillets with the right portion size reduce food waste so no energy is wasted either. We utilize our fish to the bone, but we don't waste the bones either. We use 100% of our fish. Now, the heads, tails, and bones are sold to pet food manufacturers, but we're looking for solutions to make them tasty food for humans too. What's left is sludge that we collect and dry. The dried sludge is then used as material for bioenergy and fertilizers. For the future, we're investigating even better options. One is highly efficient biocomposters that turn the sludge directly into recirculated organic fertilizer to grow plant-based protein for fish feed, the circle of life. The other option is to feed the sludge to insect larvae that turn it into frass. That's larva poop, which is an excellent organic fertilizer. It's the same what worms do with soil. The oil-rich larva shells can be cold-pressed for biodiesel production. We take most of the nitrogen and phosphorus out of our discharge water. It still has some nutrients left after treatment, and in the future, we want to capture them all. We are testing two options. One, the nutrient-rich water can be used to grow algae, which in turn produces plant-based protein for our fish feed. Two, with a developing technology, we can extract all the nutrients and use them as recycled fertilizer in food production. We're soon able to recirculate every bit of resources we use. And the result? A systemic change to food production that makes tasty, high quality, carbon negative food affordable for everyone.